Alright, I'm gonna show you how to unfold the drone. First of all, you do that, that, and then the down of a problem is when you pull it down like that. Check for um, to see if like the propellers are on right, and then if you want to check the battery, the battery, click on it once, and then a long press again. We have these goggles that can be used uh, with the drone and the controller. So uh, same deal with the drone. If you just tap it once, these uh, lights will come on, indicating the battery. You don't want it too low, and then if you press it once, quick, and then another time, long the device will turn on. Alright, so on the controller to check the battery and turn it on. To check the battery you just tap it once and then to turn it on, after tapping it once you tap it again and hold it. There it is. Real quick, um, you should not fly with the gimbal cover or the clamp on. So to take it off, I'm just going to flip it over like this. So there's like a little clip that you remove there. And then for the actual clamp, there's sort of parts here and here where you can just kind of squeeze a little bit and then remove it and then uh, should be ready to go. We're going to fly in the open area to avoid hitting things. And we're going to try to follow the rules about going above 400 feet and try to keep it lower. Um, and also we're going to keep the drone with an eye shot so we can see it. All right, so this is Mr. Wong speaking. I'm just gonna reiterate some of the things that the guys had talked about before. So there are some safety notifications here. Um, so generally what you do wanna do is make sure that you uh, notify an air tower um, that you are flying. In this case, we're actually a little bit outside of uh, the Hanscom Air Force Base radius. Um, I did file a flight plan uh, with 1-800-WX-BRIEF. So um, just saying yes to the safety notifications or trying to say yes to them. Oh, actually I actually have to check mark that and say yes. All right, so now I think I'm ready to fly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and also start my recording here before I take off. All right, so I'm gonna tap on the takeoff button. I usually try to precisely record the takeoff point and then I'm gonna take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check right, it on the map. You should be able to get some nice footage of a nice fall day. So I do have Scott recording it. We're not really going to be going up that high. Um, I have this set up in meters. Um, 120 meters, I think, is about the maximum, which is about 400 feet. So I'm just going to go up, check things out here, get some nice foliage shots. 